Hello and welcome back again. This is the Spirit Mongo 187. This is another match of Shadow Era. Let's just turn on the music and we'll get the game started. So, maybe could anyone just uh, explain in the comments below what the Project Jasmine is? Because uh, <laughs> I read about it in the startup screen, but um, yeah, I tried the web, start up the web version, but it took really long to load, so I kind of skipped it and uh, I think I'm just kind of lazy. So um, yeah, I didn't figure out what is what it meant the new update, but it was a huge uh, update, a new server or something. This is what I read about it. So let's see here, music is on. Um, we are facing a Bane bow. So this is my second match in the new uh, ladder system or new rating system. As you can see, I'm still at the 104 rating points where we left off. After I won the last match, so we are facing a Banebow. Yes, and that's a hero hunter. I um, made a big mistake in my second Zelda match against him. I thought he was a different hero. Uh, let's get rid of the Fury and Terror, and drop out an anti matter. Um, so we are still on low rating, but hey, this is only my second game. So next turn, we are going to drop the. Dead Collector or the Morbid Acolyte, but it depends on what he's going to drop. Maybe I think the Morbid Acolyte has a better chance because it's not going to take lots of damage, but it has lots of health. So, what's wrong with the music? This is kinda low. Um, what are we going to sacrifice? Um, let's get rid of. The death collector, I think. Yeah, let's uh, sacrifice that. We play the morbid acolyte, and we'll just end turn. So we have a little bit port present uh, at the moment. So I do not know what I can expect from this bane bow. And with this new season started, you can play against anyone. Before I played against guys who had like the same rating like me, like 260, 250, something like that. And now you're playing against, yeah, everyone started at zero, so you could be a very good player, but also a very bad player. This is giving me high have fun. So he's going to attack my Acolyte, taking one damage, played an Acolyte himself. We're going to shut down his ability, I think we can do that, right? With this, uh, let's get rid of the Infinity Core. We can shut down his ability. Uh, with this, yep, let's just do that and see what happens if we zap it in its face. So, zap and zap, it just should die now. Yep, it does. And we'll attack the Morbid Acolyte and kill them both. So, we have board control again, but he has his ability also loaded. And if he's going to play a uh, dead mage, he could nicely destroy my morbid acolyte and have board control again. I think that uh, that move is going to happen now. This is it's a, it's a very big chance that he has an, uh, a dead mage in his hand because he also played 40 cards. Um, let's just wait and see. He's a hunter, so or ranger, whatever. He comes a soul seeker, so he's gain, going to gain some life, some health back. Yeah, chopping down the morbid acolyte. Well, well, well. That's nice. And this one really needs to go. So, are we going to drop it, or should I? I think I'm going to drop the Shadow Knight first. Or not? No, I'm just going to take it out. I want it gone. There it goes. There's the music. Just turn it down a little bit. So, yeah, the Project Jasmine. Or Jasmine update. And, uh, yeah, the new uh, ladder system, or whatever they call it. Uh, so, every month you get zero rating points and you start up again. With fresh rating for some new challenges and some prizes. 
Not that anyone has an idea how to reach the top 100. <laughs> well, you can get nice prizes. Just like Meltdown, you get like 1 million gold or something. Wow, that's really so much. If you enter top 3, you get lots of gold. Oh, there's another Shadow Knight. Well, those are hard to fight against. No? Um, let's get rid of one antimatter. And are we going to use one for ourselves? Let's just do that. And we're going to drop a shadow font. So he has the combo here, the infinite shadow knight. <laughs> combo like. Um, well, let's just give it one damage. So next turn we can kill it. And one turn. So if he's not going to, I hope he's going to drop a Shadow Knight this turn because if he doesn't, he can retrieve Shadow Knights all day long. And that kind of sucks. There's four cards in his hand, six resources, and there is a Red of the Forest, which means if I destroy an ally he owns, he's going to draw a card. Yep, that's what he does. Um, what are we going to drop? We are going to drop down. We're going to sacrifice this. Now yeah, we have to give him a card. Take him down. Boom. And we will drop our own shadow knight, I think. Or not. Uh, let's just cast the dead mage. I should have drawn cards first. I'm just so bad playing this. This is not going very well, but doesn't matter. Uh, drop this one, destroy that one, and enter. There we go. So next turn, if he drops another Shadow Knight, we can kill it again, and dealing him some damage, because we have a Shadow Font in our hand. So he's losing, losing some life. He's at 19. Let's just see what he's coming up to this turn. I do not know if I ever lost against a Painbow deck. But this could be the first game I would lose against Painbow. Let's just see what he's going to drop. Here it comes. Soul Seeker. Wow, that's nice. He's going to gain some life again. That just sucks. Destroying my dead mage. And here's my turn again. Well, we're not going to sacrifice anything. Um, let's just play this one. He's going to die, but you know, we have to do something. So I know already how this is going to turn out. It's going to be a really tough match. Where I really have to do everything I can, everything within my power to stop my opponent from killing me. So this is going to be a long match after all. And it doesn't look very good for me at this point. Well, not very bad either, but he has a weapon. And I don't like weapons. And he comes with two allies. Taking down my Shadow Knight. I really hate that he's going to take it down. Um, well, I really would like to keep it, but we have to sacrifice because we want to use our ability. Get rid of these server ties. And we'll just play a Shadow Font. And use our ability. On these two guys, and we'll just unturn him. I really hoped one of them would die because she's going to play Shadow Knight now again. And return his other Shadow Knight. Um, but next turn, I'm able to play a Dead Mage and another Shadow Farm so I can kill off two allies. And I will hope the Shadow Knight will die first. 
so an other ally will come on top of it so he doesn't retrieve his shadow knight but let's see how that graveyard order is going to be determined well, we're at 18 health now 16 and draw a card let's just get rid of that we can, because we need resources um, we are going to cast the shadow font and cast the dead mage giving him one damage and we are going to hope he is going to die well, we want to kill this one first I think Yep. no the shadow mage shadow knight is on top why? why is he on top? That sucks. Because he's going to play another Shadow Knight again and retrieve his Shadow Knight. That's so painful. That little combo. Two card combo. <laughs> well, let's see what he's going to play. Maybe he's not going to play a Shadow Knight, but. Yep, there it is again. We have to fight against one more. One more or two more. Well, there I go with my dead mage. Boom, he's going to have 28 uh, life. So I have to focus on all of his allies first. This is going to be a real pain in the ass. Um, well, let's get rid of it. Reverability. Um, I do not want to give him any cards, so. Let's just play. This one, do them one damage and play our Ironite Garage and then turn. Maybe I should get the bad sound up, but yeah, this is already turning out to be a really bad, bad game for me. And that's really because I have to kill those Shadow Knights every turn, and yeah, you just can't keep it up, you know. I cannot burn them every every turn so I really hoped when I killed the uh, the gargoyle and the shadow knight at the same time that the shadow knight would go to the graveyard first and then the gargoyle then this combo would be last but I don't know why but this gargoyle entered the graveyard first and then his shadow knight so that sucked the only thing I can do is destroy Shadow Knight first in that turn and then another ally but I do not have any Shadow Fonts left so I am not going to see that happening in this game so there he is, 5 more damage and the game is his I don't think there is any card in my deck that could change this this situation on board well, there's an infinity core and let's just keep it let's get rid of that 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 you can deal me at least 10 damage next turn well let's just stay positive I'm not throwing in the towel in the ring yet because next turn we have our ability and he has like 5 yeah, 10 damage, as you can see here. Yeah. So maybe we survive one more turn. <laughs> to kill off a Shadow Knight again. Maybe we draw something really, really, really good. To save the day. And he has four cards in his hand, so... That's uh, pretty much over. There goes the Acolyte. Two damage in my face. And another two. Take me down to seven. Uh, what's he going to play? Another weapon? No. Sacrifice the lamp. He's going to draw some cards and retrieve a Shadow Knight. Nice. 
the, what you see here is a pretty nice combo. Two Shadow Knights and yeah, pretty much board control, own inch card advantage, only because of two Shadow Knights. It's really nice. Just draw some cards, get rid of this, uh, shuffle something back. What are we going to shuffle back? Uh, let's take one Shadow Knight back. Retreat from health and destroy a Shadow Knight. Can we kill something? Nope, not yet. So let's just keep that ability in hand because we I don't have another Shadow Fawn. So if I had another Shadow Fawn in this deck, I would definitely use the ability because maybe there's a lucky draw. And I would draw the Shadow Font and I would gain one Shadow Energy from my turn, so I would kill them both next turn. But there's no chance of. Uh, there's not such a chance in this deck, because I don't play four of them. Maybe I shoot it, but I do not know which card to remove. Because Shadow Font is really good, it's like a, a lightning strike. Let's use our ability. Uh, maybe we keep surviving. We're going to use this ability again to retrieve a dead mage and another mind control here. We're going to draw another card. This is damage the two of them and then turn. We are going to receive at least 6 damage, if he has a weapon I'm dead. But yeah, I'm dead like already like 5 turns ago, 6 turns ago, when he started doing the, the Shadow Knight trick. Yeah, you really need to come up with something good against that. It's a really stupid combo, I never see, yeah, face it like this, I, I've, I've seen decks playing them like not like this. Now I'm really stuck against it. And that sucks. So here we go. 3 health. There goes my first loss with Zelda, I think. We have won lots of matches, Zelda and me. <laughs> Just draw some more cards. Toss this out. Can we kill ourselves? No, we cannot. No. Uh, let's just give him the GG and then turn. So, this is a lose. This first season here is not starting well. One win, one lose. So, we will go down a little bit in rating. But, yeah, maybe this player got like 280 rating in last season or something. That's a really nice Bane Boy. Really. So I lost, but that doesn't matter. I hope you still like this game. Yeah, do not uh, forget to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next match again with Zelda and with very low rating. See you next match. Cheers.